Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget that, you know, I need equipment. I need to move around and make relevant videos for you. So I, I have registered for PayPal and I also have um, Patreon. So kindly do me a favor, get on PayPal and support this channel because the more support I get from you, the more I can get all the equipment to run this YouTube channel. So um, I know most of you want to come to Africa, want to come to Ghana. Some of you also want to invest into some businesses here. But there are these petty, petty businesses that people are doing in Ghana or in Cape Coast to be specific that you don't need a lot of money to start. So I'm going to start this series where I'm going to interview people who have started a business with less than $100. So in our currency, that will be a little over 500 Ghana cities. So this series is going to involve me interviewing people who have already started a business under $100 or a little over 500 Ghana cities. So if this is your first time of checking out my videos, please subscribe. And hey, put up a comment. Let me know how things are done in your country. Oh, I'm buying call card. Okay. <laughs> which, which one? Um, the yellow one. Uh, the yellow one is finished. Though. Okay, it's that one is finished. Yeah. Okay. It means that uh, sales is ongoing. Yeah. Yes. All right. So. Thank you. Let me let me let me take this in off for a while. Yes. Yeah, so I told you that I was getting on the street to speak to brothers and sisters who have already started doing something with an amount of hundred dollars or below. In my currency, we say five hundred Ghana cities. All right. So I entered the street and I'm coming to speak to my first uh, target, if I should say that. So I know you are thinking of coming to Africa, thinking of coming to Ghana to either reside, visit, go back, invest. But you can do that either in small businesses or large business. Let me say it that way. But when it comes to small businesses, there are brothers and sisters who are already doing it. And I'm here to have a conversation with one brother who has started this business of buying and selling calling cards. All right, Charlie, um, thank you very much for being on my YouTube channel. You're welcome, bro. All right. Um, my, my idea is to tell the diaspora, even Africans, that we can still sell something we can still make money out of something when i was coming let me tell you ghana is a place where every house has some kind of kiosk where they sell something because we need to leave you know what i mean we need to earn money to take care of ourselves and all that no government is supporting anybody this he, here is not like the state where when you're not working the government is supporting you know here you need to fend for yourself so my brother I see that you are into some kind of business. What business is this? Uh, it's a more or less like uh, credit credit cards and then transfer business. Okay, credit card, meaning calling cards, calling right? Cards, yeah. And then transfer, transfer business. business. Uh, what came into your mind? I mean, what I what do you do apart from this? Oh, uh, I work in a library. Okay. As a library assistant. Okay. Uh, that is what I do. So this is my side business. Okay. So what came into mind and you decided to start a side business because I know. As a government worker, fine, you receive some small money. So, how come, what came into mind that you wanted to start a side business? Uh, it all started when you realize your monthly salary is not enough. And then, uh, as a young man, you're all aggressive, you need to do something. So, I decided to venture into something else that would also bring me extra income. Extra income. Yeah. Okay, so, something else that will bring you extra income. I know there are a lot of things that you can do. Why did you choose selling buying and selling calling cards uh i ventured into this business because i thought the uh capital to start it was very small and then okay. i had that money so I, I decided to venture into it okay that means in 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 ghana when you have any little amount you can start something yeah. depending on what that thing is yes did you also consider the 
area where you are going to sell these things because there might be other people who sell the same thing did you did you consider those things or you just said since it's calling cards you want to sell you want to sell I, I i considered i considered the area this place is more or less like a business area you have banks you have uh judicial service you have churches around so it's a busy place okay. so i decided to locate the business there because i thought locating it here will boom okay okay and let me let's let's come to the real question how much did you use to start buying and selling calling cards or call cards oh i started with 450 cities 450 cities that is even less than the 500 the 500 ghana city or less than the hundred dollars okay so when you started with 450 cities what and what did you buy okay so you bought in ghana we have a, i think four um communication, communication networks okay. yes okay. what hundred city of each each okay. of the telecommunication network okay and using 450 ghana cities okay so you use 450 ghana city yeah. to start this business do you think somebody else can use less than 450 ghana city to start because you bought 100 each of the calling cards somebody might choose to buy 50 each is it possible it is possible it is possible it depends on the amount of um, amount of money that you have okay you can start with it Two, okay. even 200 cd can do wow even 200 CDs. yeah that is about um 40 dollars yes so even with 40 dollars you can start such a business now i see that you have this container here you have this um chair or table here did you also spend money to get them or you had them already i had them already okay. it, it was from some of my family members okay so it means that sometimes the family members can also be of yeah. help yes did you did you did you speak to your wife or your father or your mother about starting this uh i, I spoke i spoke with my auntie my mom my mom and my dad are not around so i spoke with my auntie she's the one who even gave me the keys and then the umbrella and then this table okay okay so it means that that even lessened your um the amount you're going to spend in starting yeah. this business. business now as time went on i don't know has it been profitable or no uh, i would say it has been it has been profitable, has what, been profitable. What, what 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 makes it profitable uh i started with this 450 that i'm talking about by the close of the month you get like 200 300 cities in addition in addition okay. that is very close to even the amount that you started okay. the business with okay. so i see it to be profitable okay so he said for the 450 that he started with at the end of the month he gets around 200 cities they're like extra 40 dollars in addition to whatever he used or whatever he invested in this business so after getting that profit what did you do with it i started doing mobile money in addition to the selling of the telecommunication credit cards okay some people might not know what mobile money is can you explain uh, to what, what mobile, mobile, mobile money is more or less like uh transferring electronic transaction okay that is you send money electronically to someone or someone come to you to withdraw money physical cash and then the person will give you the electronic cash okay okay so like he said if i have money and i want to send it to you in ghana i will come to him give him that money he has some money on his okay. electronic cash electronic cash on his mobile phone so he would rather send the money to the person so this is like a money you know transfer transaction and all that and that is what we use here in ghana so when you come to ghana and you need to support what i'm doing support my brother what he's doing and then you don't want to come physically you can send him the mobile money and then he will receive it on his phone and maybe expand his business now how is the mobile money business also so right now you have two businesses yeah. on, one on one table yeah the mobile money is even more lucrative than the the, the credit cards wow yeah because Ghanaians have come to understand that that is the order of the day mm -hmm. technology is moving on and then even even the old men and women that you think they don't know technology they are now even into the mobile money so it is very lucrative okay lucrative so um there might be some hitches you know some downfalls some issues some problem challenges with starting um this business of buying and selling calling cards and then making and then mobile money what has been your two major challenges you've ever faced when you started this uh my two major challenges 
One will be frosters. Frosters. <laughs> frosters are everywhere. Frosters. Yeah. I've been flooded twice. Not myself, but those who were working for me. Oh, wait. Before he comes into that, he has even started this business and he has employed people. Oh, how many people have you worked with so far? Uh, since I started, I've worked with not less than four people. Wow. But currently, I'm, I'm employing two people. Two people? Yeah. So you are paying two people at yeah. the end of the month? Yeah. So you see, you see how this whole thing is going. He started with 450 cities. He got some profits. He, he added another business on the same table. And then he has now employed two people that he pays at the end of the month. So if we encourage ourselves to start some little business, small, small businesses from where we are, don't you think Africa will grow to become, you know, that level? Look at my brother going over there, also selling some stuff, you know. The hustle is real. He's selling this, um, yeah, bitter cola. People really use it. You know, it's medicinal. And anyway, let's go back to our business. So these two people that you, you have employed, are they happy working with you? Yeah, they are very happy working with me. Because at the end of the month, they can get their salary. Yeah, they can get their salary. Me, the month ends, the next day, I'll pay you. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I asked of the issues that you're facing. One is frosters. Frosters, yes. And then the other one is capital. Okay. Still has the, to do with capital. Yeah, the, the, the mobile money is capital intensive. Okay. And then if, the more you have capital, the more you get more profit. Okay. Huh. So that is also another challenge that I'm having. Okay. Looking at the beginning of this whole business he started with just 450 Ghana cities which is let's say equivalent to um we we're talking about anything less than hundred dollars so as a youth man would you encourage other youth guys or other youth who are not doing anything right now to maybe start this kind of business and why i will i will, I will seriously advise them yeah. because it has been very very helpful it has been very helpful. You come to work and then you go home with nothing. Okay. Just, just, just your salary. Just salary. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, because of this business, I do things that my salary cannot even do for me. Okay. So I will urge my, my, my colleagues and then the youth who are not doing anything meaningful mm -hmm. to venture into it. But it's very lucrative. Very, very lucrative. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So that is, that is, that is the situation we are having right now businesses that we think when you have less than hundred dollars you can start here in ghana i know you are coming to ghana you might not want to do it yourself like he said he's been able to start this business and employ two other people he's working with so this is something that i will urge all of you if you're coming to ghana listen this is not like the big big businesses investment that you can do yes you can start and then open it make it large make it like worldwide you know what i mean but then for now in africa in ghana right now in cape coast where i find myself yes if there's any other job that you will need to do or any enterprise investment you need to do uh he has already said that he will urge you to start such a business so hey thank you very much for checking me out put up a comment let me know do you think this business it's lucrative like he said would you even try it when you come to ghana and if yes what are your plans are you coming to ghana this year next year i will leave his email address below if you need to ask more questions about starting a business in ghana which is selling buying and selling call cards here in ghana he will be able to answer you so thank you very much for being on my channel welcome bro